Now I know I've already made a video on this certain asshole by the name of Vegan Gains, and as far as this is ever going to go, this is going to be the last video that I make that's directed to him. So, just without further ado, welcome to the fourth episode of the Blacklist series dedicated to the motherfucking low life piece of shit known as Vegan Gains. Also, in addition, there are a few things that I need to clear up here with a lot of people real quick just before we get started. I'm not going to be pointing fingers at people, and I'm not going to be blaming anyone for this. I know there's been a huge debacle over this certain person, and this person has caused a lot of misery and a lot of pain to people, especially his own family. But for those posting personal information about his whereabouts or about his, uh, his real name and all that, with all due respect, please don't do that. I mean, even for the biggest of enemies that we may mutually have, it's the better idea to be the bigger man about certain things. Now, making the video on this is actually a little bit different from that, but saying as which, for the safety and concerns that I have, safety is my number one priority, not only for my audience, but even for the person's family as well, as much as the fact that I despise this piece of shit. So without further ado, let's get started on the Blacklist series. So, let's take it out with my friends with their viewpoints, what they have to say. Here we go. Hey guys, it's me, the Random Gangsta, and I'm going to be contributing to my friend Thrash Metal Guru's Let's Go series. And according to this episode, this is going to be about this person known as Vegan Gains. I've been hearing about this guy for quite a while, and according to what I've been seeing and hearing about this guy, Vegan Gains is a very militant vegan like Onision and Freely the Banana Girl who's been known to enforce and push their vegan agenda towards people and bashes and criticizes people for eating meat. And obviously, that's not rational nor logical. Obviously, it's already bad enough that this person is bashing people for eating meat instead of going on a vegan diet, but what makes this worse is that this person also exploited the death of his own grandfather just so that he could push his vegan agenda, as well as make live death threats to people like Mr. Repsion and other bodybuilders just for eating meat. Now that's just fucked. I'm not going to go further into detail as to why this person should not be seen as a good person because I have a feeling that some people would be repeating the same opinion despite the fact that I agree with it. So I'm going to leave it with this. Vegan Gains, you can go fuck yourself. You need to get some fucking meat in your mouth, both figuratively and literally. Anyways, I'd like to thank Jason for being awesome and for letting me be a part of the Blacklist series, finally. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I'm glad that I was able to contribute for this particular episode. Anyways, uh, go check out uh, Thrash Metal Guru's channel, as well as my channel, as The Random Gangsta. Check me out. Anyways, this is The Random Gangsta, signing out. Honestly, what more can be said about this fucking reprehensible douchebag known as Vegan Games? I mean, the guy recorded his grandfather dying of a heart attack with a camcorder rather than actually coming to his aid to help him. And then not only that, decided to exploit the situation to try to promote pe or try to convert people to having a vegan fucking diet. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? You're really gonna use your grandfather's death as a reason to, to shove veganism down all of our throats? Are you really that much of an exploitive piece of shit? Fuck you, and fuck everybody that looks like you. Hey everybody, this is Atticus the Death Meddler. Um, currently still at my vacation home. But this is going to be a video for my good buddy Jax of Thrash Metal Guru vs. Blacklist series. And it's going to be directed towards vegan games. And all I gotta say is, dude, what the fuck is going on in your head right now? You do realize that taking a camera and recording your grandfather suffering from a heart attack is no way to get your point across about veganism. You know what? Listen to me, fuckwit. You know, unlike you, I never had the luxury or the privilege into actually knowing my grandfather. Back before I was born, this was a long time ago, my grandfather, late at night, was walking down the stairs, got a heart attack, and fell down. Then the following morning, they found him dead. It's too late for that. But you know what? Unlike you, motherfucker, my family, including my mom, did not go vegan. They took this as a learning experience to 
do moderation for their health. I still have my grandmother to this day. She is 89 years old. She still drinks Coke a lot. Is she close to like pushing up daisies? Well, yeah, she's going to be up to her 90s, but she's still alive to this day. And another thing is, I want to also bring up my uncle, because my uncle was a chronic alcoholic and chain smoker. When I attended his funeral, I was indeed bawling my ass off. And I was comforting a old woman. You, on the other hand, you are showing signs that you are indeed a sociopath. Whatever rocky relationship you had with your grandfather, you should have learned to let things go in the past and start anew. But that's all done and done since he's dying. Since he died and you're going around saying, oh, I'm so happy he died. You know what? Fuck you. Honestly, fuck you. You are a deplorable piece of shit, mind you. I'm Atticus, a death meddler. If you want to check out my channel, it is down in the description below. Keep it metal. Thank you for having me, Jason. Have a wonderful day. Gains, welcome to the blacklist, motherfucker. It's well deserved. I mean, come on, dude. You took Mr. Repsion out of context, and as two-faced as Repsion can be, and Repsion's not innocent of that shit himself, it's still fucking pathetic when you're using it to mock him, and to try and argue against him. Then you've got fucking threatening to slit his throat, real mature adult behaviour there. Then you've got the fact you made fun of Furious Pete's cancer returning, again trying to use that to push your veganism on everybody. And then there's the big whammy that's gotten everyone pissed off, the fact you tried to exploit your grandfather's death, then complained about the fact you couldn't exploit his death, then yet again, shock horror, using it to try and push your veganism on anybody, and then the big whammy at the end about being happy he's dead. You're a fucking psycho, bro. You need to be put away. I don't know how the hell anyone's getting converted by the shit vegan gang says, but it's disturbing because there is absolutely nothing redeeming about the guy. He's got fucking problems, man. And I really don't think anybody should follow what he says. Fuck vegan gains. The biggest problem I have with vegan gains is not the fact that he has a vegan diet, and it's not the fact that he wants to promote veganism in his videos. It's not even enough that someone like him has to be so militant with his vegan views, He's the type of person that treats veganism like a religion, to the point where it turns into an occult, and if you oppose his views on veganism, he'll turn on you. We've already seen this recently, where he exploited his grandfather's death in order to promote veganism, and so he could brag about, I called it months ago, I called it when I was talking with my mom about how a grandfather would die because of his shit diet. And now we're seeing this with his Furious Pete video, where he's going on saying that he predicted the second coming of Furious Pete's cancer, and he's saying that he's getting what he freaking deserves. Are you freaking kidding me? And this person is a representative of the vegan culture? Like I said in my collaboration video with The Frost Review, my mom's a vegetarian, and she at one point was vegan. And she not once tried to force her dietary beliefs down my throat because she realizes that if you really love someone especially if you love your own offspring you're gonna let them live their own lifestyle you're gonna let them figure out what is best for them while being a good guide to them along the way but nonetheless people like you make people like my mother look bad and for that Fuck you. And just so you know, vegan gains, meat is not the only food product that has been contaminated by fucking factories. Fruits and vegetables, grains, and every other food product has been altered by some sort of fucking chemical. Especially if you don't go to a fucking organic grocery store, chances are that little product that you're consuming, whether it's a meat or a fruit or a vegetable or a drink, Hell, some of our water is even fucking contaminated, so don't fucking sit here and say that fruits and vegetables are the only holy foods to have. It's about where you get the fucking food products from. Not about whether it's a fruit or a vegetable or a meat or whatever. 
There's even organic meat. One more thing I want to add. One more thing I want to add. Until I see every animal on this planet go on a vegan diet and have a healthy lifestyle on a vegan diet and not have to kill each other in order to consume food. I'm going to enjoy my well-balanced diet of meats, fruits, vegetables, dairy, and grain, and every fucking thing on the food pyramid. So, yeah, may the power of Christ compel you, motherfucker. I got the my opinion of vegan games remains the same as it has been in my last two videos on the guy. He's a sociopath. I am well aware that he has done interviews with various people and the general consensus from his fans is that he has Asperger's and can't properly express how he feels about people. I think that's bullshit. Him being a sociopath is all you need to know, because he will do or say anything to cover that aspect of his personality. I still feel that he killed his grandfather in complete malice because he didn't like the guy. And he used veganism as a justification to try and get away with it, hoping people wouldn't notice. All in all, fuck vegan gains. Bastard. Well, that about wraps everything up on vegan gains. I hope to God that I never ever have to make another video directed to that motherfucker again. Well, we got six more episodes before we have to do the whole uh, event thing, which I'll be talking about here as soon as when we get all ten of these Blacklist videos up for season one. So, how do I end things off here? I just want to thank everyone that's actually contributed into this video. Damien Skyfire, Some Guy 27 Official GATG, Random Gangster, Atticus the Death Meddler, and everyone else that wanted to pitch it. And I am so happy that, you know, I actually have some cool buds on board willing to express what they feel. And for certain others, if I've been getting on your case about that, I do apologize. I'm, I'm really trying to work on that, but... Anyways, to end things off, yeah, vegan games can go fuck yourself, and that's just much to it. And so, this is the Blacklist series, episode 4. Jasmine Boat here, also known as the Crash Review, also signing up.